Previously on the bill. She's prostitute Carrie. She was a key witness for us. <laughs> yeah, that'll do for start. Let's go. <laughs> Carrie, when I first met you, you helped me out more than you can ever realise. Just repaying a favour. Tell me what's happened. It's Affid. It's my daughter. Someone's taken her. Okay, calm down. Uh, call Sergeant Smith. But let's you, take you a seat in here. You have to help me find her. When was the last time you saw Affid, Mr. Rogan? Me, me. Please. Yesterday, last night. What sort of time was that? I don't know, about eight o'clock, something like that. We're going to need a description how old she is, what she was wearing. And if you got a photograph, that'd be great. Here. Yeah. It's a bit old. It was taken just before her mother died. She won the balloon at the fun fair. <laughs> she cried when it burst. She's beautiful. How old is she? Sixteen. Uh, maybe we could have a more recent photograph. When you last saw her at eight last night, was she in a room? Did she go out? Uh, to Estelle's house, to listen to music. I spoke to Estelle this morning. She said she'd never arrived. And how were things when she went out? Was she in a good mood? Did the pair of you argue? Of course not. Why shouldn't we argue? She said she was going out, she went out, that's all. OK. Now, has Afet ever stayed out all night before? What are you suggesting? My daughter is not that kind of girl. Now, Matt, you need to calm down. Now, can you give me Estelle's details so we can go and talk to her? She's 16 years old. What's the bet? And she's been out clubbing all night. Oh, PC Hartman. Nice of you to join us. Let me guess. The alarm clock didn't go off. Oh, actually, Sarge, I've had a bit of a dodgy tummy. I've been up half the night. Oh, dear. You fit for work, though? Yes, Sarge. So get yourself in your uniform and go and find Will. You're paired with him. And when you do find him, you tell him I'd like to see him as well. Sarge. You lucky. Yeah, rule number one, you keep your eyes open and your wits about you. Well, if I'd listen to rule number two, you wouldn't be so late. Yeah, that's rule number two. Don't get sidetracked in the shower. Mmm, that lavender body mist smells lovely on you. Body mist? Ask for deodorant! Get up. Estelle George? Yeah. I'm Sergeant Smith. This is PC Noble from Sunhill. We've come to talk to you about Affet Ergin. Isn't she home yet? Can we come in? Thank you. Remember Ergin said that Affet was going to stay here last night? I didn't say that exactly. I just said she never got here, which is true. Look, she's probably fine. It's not the first time she snuck out for the night. Just the first time she's got caught. I bet her mobile's got no battery and she's overslept. Well, I hope so, but that still doesn't tell us where she is. She could have gone clubbing. Or there was that party in Hoxton last night. I could check that out. Have you tried Jamal? Who's Jamal? You haven't tried Jamal? Her boyfriend? Man, he's the first place you should be looking. She stays there sometimes, so she's staying here. Her father never mentioned a boyfriend. <laughs> he's joking, aren't you? It hit the roof. He thinks she should be playing with Barbies, not boys. So have you got an address for Jamal? Yeah. And we'll take your mobile number while we're at it. I suppose you've got to tell her dad. Look, the important thing's finding an outfit. Now, if she is staying at Jamal's, maybe she should just come clean. What if she isn't? We'll let you know when we find her, all right? She has calmed down a little bit now, but I just don't want anybody going in that room. We'll get it cleared up. Good morning. I'm PC Will Fletcher. This is PC Harmon. Oh, Hi. Elaine Cromwell, the manager. I'm so sorry to drag you all the way out here, but we didn't really know what else to do. She's in here. Her name's Carrie Morgan. You know her? Well, she's an employee. Or was. You, you stupid child. You finished your poxy job, all right? And I'm going to work here anyway. I was having 
having a quiet word with her when she started shouting and throwing things. I tried to calm her down, but then she locked herself in my office and refused to come out. What, have you got a spare key? All the spares are in my office. And she said what she wants. Miss Morgan, it's PC Harmon from Sun Hill. Now, will you please open the door? If you don't open the door, we're going to have to bash it down, and I think you're already in enough trouble, don't you? Did you do all of this? I want to talk to Mickey. Mickey Webb. Yeah, well, sorry, love, but you don't get a choice of who you talk to. I'm not talking to anyone except Mickey. So you'd rather come all the way down to the station to talk to him rather than sort this out here? Thanks again. Stop saying thanks. Just impressed. Room service alone must have cost you a fortune. Well, it was worth every penny. Mickey, you got a minute? You will. Anything. Someone got out of the right side of the bed this morning. Or should I say the right bed? Good lad. Well, you're in demand. We just brought a girl in. She wants to see you. Who is it? Harry Morgan. She wants to be interviewed. What? Do you mind if I take it? Yeah, go for it. Typical teenager. Won't realise how worried her dad is. Makes you wonder why you put yourself through it. I've got a son. Really? Well, it's no secret. He lives with his dad. Robert's only 12, but I feel for them, mate. You know, years of fretting about who they're with and where they are. Before you know it, they move out and they don't want to know you anymore. Yeah, but that's what it's all about, isn't it? Giving them the tools to survive on their own. Martana? Yeah. PC Noble, Sergeant Smith. Can we come in, please? I don't believe this. My dad sent you, hasn't he? Affet Ergin. I'm not going back. I know my rights. I'm 16. You can't force me to go back to him. Affet, calm down. All we want to do is. I don't talk want to him. talk to you. I don't want anything to do with him. You've got no idea what he's like. I don't care what he said. You can tell him from me to leave me alone. I ain't going back. But he does my head in. He calls every half hour when I'm out. He interrogates my mate's parents just to find out if my friends are suitable. He tells me what I can and can't wear. Affet, you're a teenager. He's just looking out for you. I'm up early in the morning making him his breakfast. I clean the house. I make him his dinner. While he eats that, I cover for him in the restaurant. I don't have the luxury of being a teenager. At least when he still thought I was at school, I had some time off. You've left school. She doesn't need school. She's got me, Jenna. Does your dad know? Why do you think I left home? He found a letter from the head, went mental, locked me in my room. Can't talk to him when he's like that. Didn't he tell you we had a row? No. I'm not surprised. Doesn't want anyone knowing he hasn't got the perfect daughter. Look, officers, you can see for yourselves that Afet's fine. So, unless there's anything else? Look, we can't force you to go home. But we do have a duty to inform your dad that you're alive and well, okay? I'm alive and well. I'll see you out then. Thank you. Follow me. Alpha has got nothing to worry about. I got my own company, wedding planning. And I'm caretaking my father's business interests till he gets back. Is this your dad's house? Yeah. We're exchanging on our own place in a few days, so dad shouldn't have to put up with us for long. No, it sounds like your dad's slightly more understanding than Affet's. I could never figure out what they had in common. They're totally different. Mehmet knows your father? Everybody knows my father, but it won't make any difference. Mehmet doesn't approve of Affet going out with anyone. He's a dinosaur. He was ruining that poor girl's life. And what for? So she can take over the kebab shop when he retires. I can give her so much more than that. And he's just gonna have to learn to live with it. All right. Thanks for your time. See ya. Idiot. Oh, I thought I'd seen the back of you. Look, I'm not here because I'm back on the game again, I promise. 
I haven't turned a trick since the last time I saw you. Yeah, I'm moving out of my skanky bed, sitting into my own place in a fortnight, and I've got a job. Well, I, I had a job. Harry, what's happened? Elaine, the manager, starts asking me about some bracelet that's gone missing, and I thought, typical, blame the ex-prozzy. So I kicked off. Does she accuse you of stealing it? No, not exactly, but I thought, because of me past... Hang on, she... then. Does she know about your past? Well, if she didn't before, she does now. I lost it. I was shouting at her. I said, just because I've been a prostitute doesn't make me a thief. Sit down. I knew this was too good to be true. Only a matter of time before I screwed up. Don't be so hard on yourself, OK? We both know you didn't steal the bracelet, right? So will you help me prove I didn't? Of course I will. Oh, I only asked her if she'd seen it. <laughs> I left it in here after a function last night. I was going to ask everybody, but she took it so badly. Oh, dear. I never did like that plate. <laughs> but the bracelet is another matter. It was a present from my husband for our 20th wedding anniversary. Actually... These were taken last night. We had a bit of a function on. I don't wear it normally, but, you know, it's nice to get dressed up. Uh, here. I can get that blown up for you, if you like. Thank you. Why did you single carry out first? Well, I know she thinks that I singled her out, but I had no idea that she used to... You know... Look, her CV said that she had no work experience because she'd been looking after an elderly relative. She is a bright girl. She picked things up very quickly. It was Kevin who recommended her. He assured me he'd checked all her references. Who is Kevin? He's my assistant. He's a lovely lad. Okay, well, thanks, Elaine. Listen, I'm going to need a list of your staff, if that's OK. Details of what shifts I was on, what rooms they were allowed to go into, that kind of thing. Don't tell me, it's bad news, I can tell. Uh, Mehmet, calm down, Af, it's fine. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, thank God. Where is she? What's the matter? She doesn't want to come home. What do you mean? Of course, she must come home. Af, it's 16, we can't fault her. So maybe when she calms down a bit. Calm down, rubbish. <laughs> tell me where she is, I'll go and get her. She's staying with a friend, Jamal. Jamal Tanner. I have to talk to her. Please, you must leave the shop now. I have well, to go talk to her. Drag her back, kicking and screaming. Do you think that'll work? Look, when Affet wants to talk to you, she will. But until then, you're not going to do anything stupid, are you? Good. Thank you, Mr. Ergin. Kevin Mann? Yes. I'm DC Webb. Elaine tells me your mate's with Carrie Morgan, is that right? That's right. I've got her the job here. Oh, that's kind of you. Yeah, take a seat. Thank you. Do you think she stole a bracelet, or...? No way. Look, between you and me, Carrie and I are... Oh, it's early days and we're taking it slow. <laughs> As for Elaine, she's a great boss, but she can be a bit dizzy sometimes. I mean, she says she put the bracelet in her desk, but... I understand that you gave Carrie a reference. Have you worked with her before? No, DC Webb, because as I think we both know, Carrie used to work on her own. She'll be so quick to judge. I mean, doesn't mean she's a thief, does it? No, it doesn't. Did you have any reason to come into this office last night? Or? I was around, but I don't recall coming in here, no. OK. Thanks, Kevin. Anything else, I'll give you a shout. Great. Thanks. Ta. Fletcher. Sarge. Now, I presume you were on your way to my office to explain to me why you were so late this morning. I was, Sarge, yeah. Thank you very much. OK, spit it out. Well, I must have hit something dodgy last night. I was on the cars all night. You know, honey had the same kind of bug. There must be something going around. Are you wearing perfume, PC Fletcher? No, it's, it's Dan's deodorant, isn't it? Whatever you say, Petal. All units from Sierra Oscar. Not yet. Disturbance reported. 
reported at number 43, Regis Crescent. Sierra Oscar from 54, show myself and 483 assigned, over. Another day. Do you hear that? Yeah, no, mate. Yeah. Any luck? Oh, not having one. No, I didn't have enough cash, then there's a quid, will you? Uh, rule number three. Never ask a girl to lend you money until she's completely hooked. You're telling me you're not hooked now? Mm, ask me again in the morning. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, no joy. The door to the manager's office isn't in shot, so we can't see who was going in and out. This is the best we can do. It's a list of all the employees caught on camera in the corridor between the time Elaine put the bracelet in her office last night and this morning. Narrows it down to five. Right, including Kay Morgan, yeah? Yeah, we've checked and searched all of them. There's no sign of the bracelet. Although the, um, assistant manager, Kevin... Oh, yeah, I know Kevin, yeah. Yeah, well, he's got previous for burglary as a juvenile, but nothing since. Well, I don't know how much we can do till we find it, then, is there? Why don't you get a list of all the local pawn shops and start knocking on doors? I'll phone around the local auction houses. When if the fee's smart, he knows it's going to be worth something, so he might try and auction it. You could try online auctions. All right, yeah, let me know you get on. Honey, that's a lovely perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Any news? Well, there's not a lot to go on at the moment. I mean, if we find a bracelet, that might throw up a few more leads. Got no chance of getting my job back now, then. If I don't tell someone about my past, I'm lying to them. If I do, they don't trust me. No one's ever gonna really trust me. Hey, that's not true. I think you're doing brilliantly. Kevin seems to believe in you as well. I spoke to Kevin? Yeah. He don't reckon you stole the bracelet. He reckons it's Elaine's mistake. He reckons it'll turn up sooner or later. So come on, what's the deal with you and him? Kevin? Not him. We're just mates. Shut up, come on. We're just mates. Up it! Get out of here! Oh, get up! Leave him off! Get up! Hey, I'm all right, I'm all right. She's my daughter, she should be with me. She isn't, is she? She's with me. This is not helping to get her back. She likes being in the house of a family like that. Get inside. Affid, you have them. Don't be like that. Have I been such a terrible father to you? I'm talking to you while you're like this. Just go home, mother. Look, 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 Working her though, rag right? is best for her. Though, At right? least I can give her the lifestyle she deserves. Calm it, Your no. money's dirty. She deserves better than anything you can give her. What? Like scrubbing the floors of some filthy kebab shop? Look at me. Affid, Why would she want to stay with you when she can have all this? Wait! Right. Right. You are under arrest for assault. This one you should be arrested. He's corrupt. The whole family's corrupt. Uh, what are we ask him. Arrested. Ask him about his company. Arrested. Ask him about the illegal visas he forges. Ask him. He's being arrested, Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. This has got to stop now. But at the moment, it's only an allegation. Well, it could be retaliation for being arrested, I suppose. Defence being the best form of attack. Maybe, but I thought that CID might want to be across it. Kezia. You got forged visas in your record of achievement book yet? Uh, no, sir. Right. Well, you have now. PC Noble will bring you up to speed. Can I? Yeah, you can. Emma Ergen, convicted for embezzling funds in 1989 from a company run by him and Oran Tanner. Mama's daughter's going out with a guy called Jamal Tanner. All done. Yeah, it didn't take long. So what are you doing tonight? Uh, taking you out for dinner. No, you're not. My treat this time. Okay. Oh, Mickey, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you really shouldn't have. Not to your taste, madam. How about this one? It was stolen from a manager of a hotel. Harry Morgan's one of the suspects. So what, you're looking at online auctions? Yeah. Shame you haven't got a clue what you're doing, budge <laughs> You need to be a little bit more specific in your search criteria. You'll find that just putting bracelet in will bring up thousands. Right, just a second. There you go. Mm. Don't worry, you can show me your appreciation later. What does K-Man mean? The seller's name? Kevin, maybe? Could be. Oh, hang on a minute. Hey, bidding's about to close. What do you think, 800? You can't bid in that. Whoops. Oh, well. Let's see if K-Man bites. You made some interesting allegations against Jamal earlier. Would you like to go into more detail? Gladly. He's a criminal. Just like his father. You should be bagging them up instead of innocent people like me. You don't think that you're a criminal? Of course not. Okay, so I gave the boy a little punch. But I'm not the one taking money from poor people. I'm not the one living in the big house. No. 
But you were the one that went to prison in 1989 for embezzling funds. Yes. But it was Orhantan who took the money. He's the criminal. What do I get? A prison sentence, working all hours, an ungrateful daughter. He was the one to blame then, and his son is just the same now. Uh, so you keep saying, but there's not much we can do without proof or more details. Jamal's company. They plan weddings. But the wedding is not legitimate. They're Turkish nationals who can't get a visa to live in the UK. For a fee, Jamal finds someone to marry them. And forges the visa. How do you know this? If someone's cousin or nephew comes over, we all hear about it. And they advertise. I'll show you the ad in the paper. It's in Turkish, but I can translate. And I'll compile a list of all the people that have come over in the last few months. You check their visa. I think you'll find they also applied for marriage license. Thank you. That'll be helpful. It would be an added bonus for you, wouldn't it, if Jamal went to prison? It would mean that Affet would have to come home. Where she belongs. She doesn't know what she's doing. She wouldn't choose a boy like that over me. But Affet has chosen Jamal. No. She's young. She's impressed with all the money. That'll soon wear off. She doesn't love that boy. Right, that's his confirmation email. It's got an auto signature on it and his mobile number. Hang on, what are you doing? Oh, hello, is that K-Man? Oh, hi, um, this is Mia. I've just won the bid for your bracelet. Hiya. Uh, now, I noticed that you're actually based in London. Would you mind if I came and collected it in person? No, it's just that it's actually my mum's birthday tomorrow and, and the bracelet would be perfect and uh, obviously it would be great if I could get it tonight. Oh, right. Um, is it the money? I, I could probably go to 8.50. Well, wh why don't we call it a bit straight 900? No? I can't do anything to persuade you? OK, no, no, thank you. Didn't buy it. Said he'd changed his mind, he didn't want to sell it anymore. I don't get it. Why put it in an auction if you're just going to pull out? Flash of conscience. Or maybe he's nervous because he knows that the police are now involved. Carrie. No, Carrie, it's fine. Calm down. Listen, I'll be there as soon as I can, OK? Yep. What's the matter? No idea. She sounded hysterical. Sorry, me. I better go. See ya. You OK? What's happened? Talk to me. What's the matter? It was Kevin. He rang. He said he's got the bracelet. Well, that's good then, isn't it? You're in the clear. But he won't take no for an answer. I'm not interested in him like that. I don't understand. He knows about me, Mickey. He knew me when I was on the game. He said he's losing patience, but he'll give me one last chance. He'll arrange for Elaine to find the bracelet, but only if I sleep with him. You feeling any better? Can't believe he thinks he can get away with this. This is blackmail, you know that? I know. How do you mean? Just punter. Regular. Took her quite bad when I told him I was packing it in. But he's all right. And he said there was a job going at his place, that he'd help me get it. You didn't think he was after anything in return? No, he seemed genuine. I knew he liked me, but he was a punter. It's the difference between someone who pays you and someone who just cares, you know. He's made a few comments. Stuff about me owing him, calling in a favour, that kind of thing. I thought it was just talk. Well, it's gone past that now. Look, if we're going to prove that he stole that bracelet, then we've got to catch him in possession. Hi, Kevin. It's Carrie. Yeah, I'm sorry I freaked out. 
course I'll do it. Okay, which room number? I'll be careful. Room 157, three o'clock today. And the city rest? Wait for line sees you. I'm supposed to make sure she doesn't. Come on, then. let's go. Ladies, how's a wild goose chase going? This is no wild goose chase, Serge. I've been on the phone to immigration. Yeah? Yeah, all right. Picture this. A guy wants to live in the UK, so he applies for a leave to remain. He gets refused, but he's granted a tourist visa. So this guy comes to the UK on this tourist visa, meets the friendly neighbourhood criminal, who then forges the leave to remain stamp in his passport and arranges a bogus marriage. Bogus marriage validates the leave to remain stamp. And friendly neighbourhood criminal receives a hefty payment. Yeah. Oh, it's from immigration. Hang on. The following passports were not stamped with the leave to remain upon entry to the UK from Istanbul. Di, give me that list a minute. Cheers. This is a list of names that Mehmet gave us, and guess what? Okay, well, I... They match. Right, so, how do we tie this to Jamal? Um, Mehmet also gave us this. We've had it translated. It's for Jamal's company, The Wedlock Works. As well as arranging flowers and cars, it also suggests they arrange bogus marriages and illegal visas. OK, the registrar's office have been through Mehmet's list. Nearly everyone on it has received a marriage licence in the last three months. Right, I think we need to pay Jamal a visit. Listen, thanks for your help on this, Di. I think we can take it from here. Come on. Kev? I thought you were on your break. Well, go on, Tom, cover. Fine. Don't worry, I'll be discreet. Yeah, I'll see you then. His break's being put back, he reckons another hour. He doesn't mind blackmailing me for sex, but God forbid Elaine should see me here. Gaze is an idiot. Fortunately, Elaine doesn't think so. She's a lousy judge of character. Well, I don't know. She spoke quite highly of you. Kidding, aren't you? No, she says you're bright, you're quick to learn. I'm obviously not that bright if I get sucked by someone like Kevin. Look, Carrie, if some toss wants to take advantage, that says a lot more about him than it does you. you got a lot going for you. Will, it's Mickey, you in position? Yep, we're just in the room next to 157. Well, listen, the target's been delayed so you can stand down for an hour. Yeah, all right. We'll find something to keep us busy. All right, I'll keep you informed. Nice one. You know what that means? I know somewhere we can go get a nice coffee. Come on. For the tape, I'm showing Mr. Tanner Exhibit KW1. Do you recognise any of the names? Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people. So what? You run a company called The Wedlock Works, is that right? I've been involved since it started a couple of years ago. But I officially took over from my father six months ago. And you're familiar with all areas of the business? I'm the managing director, not a sleeping partner. So you know how you advertise? <laughs> We're wedding planners. We came up with this cunning idea of advertising in wedding magazines. What's this about? Yeah, all right, mate. I take it you read Turkish. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Mr. Tanner Exhibit KW2. Is this an advert for your company? Yeah, but I, I didn't place it. Well, it says here that you offer assistance in visa applications and you will guarantee visas for people who've recently been turned down. What's your fee for that, Jamal? There is no fee. We don't offer that service. And if someone in the company has placed that ad, I knew nothing about it. What's your dad doing in Turkey? He's on his way back. Ask him yourself. Why's he coming back? Doesn't he trust you to run things on your own? Of course he trusts me. You sure about that? You're the only one running things in his absence. Where it matters, yeah. Do you mean where it matters? Where doesn't it matter? My dad's accountant still does the books, but that's only because it's not my strong point. You know we're searching your house at the moment. That includes your PC. Is your PC networked to the office? Yeah. So when we look at your hard drive, we'll have access to the accounts. We'll see who's authorised these payments and receipts. Is that you? No. You know we're going to find something, Jamal. The question is, do you want to be the fall guy? My father's on his way back right now. And when he finds out you've arrested me, he'll prove we know nothing about these uh, forged visas. Hi, Kev. 
No, it's no bother. I just got a coffee. Okay, cool. Give me two minutes. I'll be right up. We're on. We're on. We're waiting in the car, okay? Will, it's Mickey. Listen, the target's just phone. Can you confirm that he's still there? Yeah, okay. Make sure you don't leave the room, okay? I'm coming up. Where's your bracelet? Oh, what bracelet? Don't miss me. Excuse me. Where's your bracelet? You've got no right to do this. Take what do you think you're doing? Hey! Come here. Get in. away from there. You've got Come no right to do this. this. No. What's this then, eh? Hey? hey? I'm not a thief. I was going to take it back. Ugh. Hey! What was you going to do then, eh? Hey? You was going to flog it, wouldn't you? Do you realise you could use it as a bargaining tool? I was taking it back to Elaine, I swear. Don't mess me about. When you saw Kyrie was going to get the sack, that was the chance that you wanted, wasn't it? No, wait, you ain't going anywhere. Come here. Hey! Stop stealing What I was after was to bring her to a hotel like this one, show her how much I could give her. But she wasn't interested. <laughs> Look, the whore's the one you're after, not me! She ain't a blackmailer. And she ain't a thief. And she ain't been nicked. Get him out of here. Diane, have you got a minute? I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh, no, not really. I'm on my way to speak to Effa. Apparently she's causing a disturbance in the front office. It'll only take a sec. It's about what Mehmet said. You heard DS Turner? Not my case anymore. I know exactly what he said, Diane, but I wanted your opinion on something. Mehmet said that Orhan was the one who embezzled the company funds, but Mehmet went to prison for it. I'm worried he's doing the same thing again, but with his son this time. Well, just because he used his partner as a scapegoat doesn't mean he's going to do the same thing to his son. I know, but I've done a background check on Orhan, and he's had countless accusations against him. Problem is, there's never enough evidence. So we need evidence. Which is why we're going to Jamal's house to see if the search has thrown anything up. If we can find something to link Orhan to the forged visa stamps, we can nail father instead of son. Everyone's happy, including Affair. Sounds great. So you come in? No, I'm gonna go and talk to Affet. The girlfriend's all right. I don't care, all right? I wanna know what's going on. Just shut up, all right? I wanna know what's what going on. Going what's happening? Down. He hasn't even done well, nothing wrong, okay? Affet. What's happening? Why haven't you Quiet, let him go? Please. Calm Look, down. Look, he shouldn't even be Affet. here. Quiet. Come on, talk in this room over here. Look, he hasn't even done nothing wrong. When are you gonna let him go? If you calm down, I'll tell you. Jamal is still being interviewed. He hasn't even been charged yet. Just because he's successful, don't make him a criminal. It's not like he's skint or nothing. Jamal's got a lot going for him. He's good looking, ambitious, very confident. He's got a lot in common with your dad. You were joking. He's nothing like my dad. They both think the world of you. They're both very persuasive and they can both convince you to do things you don't always want to do. My dad's like that, but Jamal ain't. He hasn't convinced me to do anything. I want to be with him. And I wanted to leave school as well. I know you think your dad's a tyrant, but don't make the mistake of leaving one for another. Jamal ain't a tyrant. I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. My dad's been ordering me around for years. I finally stand up to him and you're trying to talk me into going back. Why? I'm not trying to talk you yes, into you anything. Are. Why are you taking his side? I'm not. He's using you to manipulate me. Affet, it's not like that. He just thinks I'm some stupid little kid who doesn't even know what's best for her. That's I'm it. Going. I'm going. I'm Calm going. Down. I'm sick of this. Where I'm having going? enough. I'm not having it anymore. He's not pushing me around. Affet, come back and talk. Shut up! Affet! Anything? Not yet, but we've only just started looking in the study, so fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. you speak to Diane? Oh, she wanted to talk to Affet. No. And what do you think you're doing here? Sorry, sir, you are? Orhan Tanner, the owner of this house. Now, perhaps you would like to answer my question and tell me what you're doing here? Uh, we have a warrant. I'm not interested in your bits of paper. What are you looking for? A serious allegation's been made and we have a duty to investigate. What allegation? Whatever it is, it's slander. Well, if that's the case, Jamal's got nothing to worry about. Jamal? He's been arrested. That's preposterous. What for? We're investigating his company, The Wedlock Works. You funded it, didn't you? Yes, but I passed it on to Jamal six months ago. It's his company now. Sarge! Wait there for me, sir. If you'd like to wait there. Where are you? In here. Sierra, the other boy, three. Outside in the bad shop. Are we further questioning a bit urgent? Well? Looks like we've hit the jackpot. Four, eight, three from 54. Go ahead, Sarge. Can you bring Alfred in for questioning? We found documentation.
percentage of clients, dates, and how much they've paid. It's nothing concrete, but it's all authorised by Jamal. Uh, looks like the line's covered its tracks well. All right, thanks, Sarge. Ambulance required. Ephesus Kebab, Shadwell Street. Male, scold injury. Okay, Mehmet. Okay, Mehmet. There's an ambulance on its way. Affet, we need the water now! Come on. You okay? Do you recognise this? Oh, thank you. Can I have it? Uh, not just yet. Technically, it's still stolen property, but it won't be long you can have it back. Oh. It's amazing how wrong you can be about a person. I mean, blackmail. Poor girl. Yeah, well, she's had a bit of a hard time, you know, so she's trying to put it behind her now. She should try putting that temper behind her as well. Well, Elaine, look at it from her point of view. I mean, she's got no skills, no references, no qualifications. It's got to be hard for her to find a job, you know? Mm. I mean, would you have hired her if Kevin hadn't lied to you? Well, possibly not. And you said yourself she was a good worker, didn't you? Wouldn't it be easy to take her back on, rather than break someone new in? She hasn't even apologised for this morning. OK. What well, if she apologises? Oh. Elaine, thank you so much. This is going to mean the world to her. What happened with the pan of oil? I started to get angry. I might have knocked a chair over. I just wanted him to stop working and to listen. He was putting the borek into the pan. I think I grabbed it just to get it off of him. Then he started screaming. Will I be arrested? Look at it from our point of view. You spend all day rowing with your dad. He gets badly injured. We've only got your word for it that it was an accident. We've got to consider ABH in the least. Will I go to prison? Let's wait until your dad's ready to make a statement and then we'll take it from there. Looking for me? Yeah. Just okay. When will you be letting my son go? We're not sure yet. Will you be charging him? You'll find out in due course. What did you find in my house? What's the matter? Worried the finger might point at you too? I have nothing to worry about. As far as I'm concerned, my son's company is clean. If Jamal's company is involved in anything illegal, as managing director, he's automatically responsible. You do understand what that means, don't you? He could be facing a jail term. Unless there's anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Tanner. You all right? Yeah. I have nothing to tell you. All right, let's do it. I'll be waiting for him right here. You do that, Mr. Turner. What about Jamal? I can't say. This isn't how I planned it. How did you plan it? I'm not sure I did. I know I wasn't happy with the way things were, but... I never really thought about how I wanted them to be. Whose idea was it to leave school? Mine. Sort of. Jamal has this way of making anything possible. If I don't like something, then he fixes it so I don't have to do it again. He's really good like that. Really thoughtful. He just wants me to be happy. Isn't that all your dad wants as well? Sorry, I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry, Avru. I couldn't bear to lose you as well. I know, Papa. I'm not going anywhere. When you 
you get out of here, I'm going to look after you. But this time it's going to be on my terms. I look after you, but I'm not working in the restaurant as well. You're going to have to pay someone. And I'm not giving up, Jamal. If you want me in your life, you're going to have to accept him as well. Oh, there we go. Right, so for the benefit of the tape, I'm now showing Mr. Tanner exhibit CB3. Now, this was found in the study, in your house. You recognise it? No. No? Think you could describe it for me? I don't know. Lists of names, dates and stuff. All right, let me help you out. See, against each Turkish name here is the date that they arrived in the UK. Now, this column here shows the date that they were married. This column here shows a figure in pounds sterling. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is your signature. Now, this is your signature, right? Yeah, but I don't know anything about that list. Your signature's on the page, mate. I sign things all the time. For the company. My father brings me things and I sign them on his behalf. He'll clear up this misunderstanding as soon as he gets here. He already is here. Then you can ask him yourself. I did. He says he knows nothing about it. It's your company now and your responsibility. See, mate, there ain't no easy way out of this. Now, you need to make a statement saying that your father asked you to sign these documents without making you aware of the contents, all right? You want me to give evidence against my father? No, no, no. See, you're simply saying that you had no idea of the arrangements that were made. All right? It's your choice. It's your him. I think he's made his decision. You understand what you're asking me? I know you stand to lose a lot, Jamal. And I think it's probably the hardest decision you'll ever have to make, and I don't expect you to take this lightly. All right. I'll give you a statement. Harry, why do you want... What are you doing? What's it look like? Well, to me, that looks like you're giving up and you're running away. I'm not running away. I'm going to stay with me mate in Liverpool. Why, well, is that what you want? I want to do what I came here to do. Make a go of things on my own. But there's no reason that you still can't. You get in your own place in a couple of weeks. That's a start, isn't it? And I've spoken to Elaine. Now, if you're going to speak to her and apologise for your strop this morning, I reckon she'll give you your job back. You spoke to her for me? Yes. So don't let me down. I'll never let you down. Thanks, Mickey. Carrie, wait, whoa, whoa, hang on. It's all right, it's what I want. No, no, that's Carrie, that's, that's not what I want, no. I don't understand. You like me, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I, I like you, but... but not like that. Oh, you've been good to me, you care about me. I do. That's my job. No. You see me as more than just your job, I know you do. You stand up for me. You're there for me. No one else does all that. Carrie, you needed my help, OK? And I gave it to you. <laughs> what about all that stuff you said about believing in me, trusting me? I'm sorry if you misread it. Is there someone else? Is that it? Yeah. Is that that woman you told me about? Yeah. You said that was all over. It was, but she gave me another chance and I think it could work this time. <sighs> Carrie, listen up. I want you to thank for that as well, you know. It's because of you that I managed to talk to Mia about my past. That's kind of helped me deal with it a bit, just move on. That's what you've got to do. You've got to deal with your past. You've got to move on. So what do I do now? Well, you phone up a loan for starts. Get your job back. Five years' time, you'll be running that hotel. Then you'll be sorry you knocked me back. Carry you take care, OK? Yeah, more than all right. Now, 
where are we going? Well, I've been trying to think of how I can top last night. You know, posh hotel, room service, pedals in the bar. Right, so you're whisking me off to Barbados? <laughs> Do you know what? That was my first choice. And then I thought, no, 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 it's too obvious. So instead, how about calling off at the chippy and watching telly at my place? That beats Barbados hands down. time on the bill. The Met wants to reduce the number of operational centres in North Canterley. They want to do what? Sun Hill or Barton Street. Marry me. We've got one of your old Barton Street cast-offs working with us now. Nicky something. They are going to take you! Oh, don't, don't! Oh, police!